What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview. And we have the first Masters 1000 event for the men on the ATP. It's a Miami Open. We didn't get it last year. We have it back in 2019, but we didn't get it in 2020. And a lot of players have actually pulled out. Let's go to the withdrawal list. All right, so it's a long list of players that have pulled out. We have Andujar, Karuno Busta, Berrettini's pulled out, Chorich, Cuevas, Fakina, Novak Djokovic pulled out during the week, Edmund, Federer, the defending champions, also out, Gasquet, Krajanovic, Nick Kyrgios, he's not playing Miami. Milman, Monfils, Mute, Rafa Nadal's also pulled out. Pella, Ramos Fanoles, Rud, Simon, Dominic Team, Songa, and Stan Vavrinka. So a huge withdrawal list from this tournament. But there are still some good players playing. Let's go to the top of the draw. All right, so starting at the top of the draw, we have 32 seeds. It feels like a mini Grand Slam. Very similar to the women's sides tournament as well. Feels like a mini slam. We have 32 seeds all getting a buy in the first round. And the number one seed, Daniel Medvedev. He's the world number two, but he gets the number one seed because Djokovic pulled out. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll play the winner of Query or Lou in the second round. Then we have Lopez versus Poprin. So a battle of the generations in the first round. Winner of that's going to play number 30 seed Opelka in the second round. Then we have the number 19 seed Evans. He's into the second round. He'll play the winner of TFO or Travalia who are playing in the first round. Then we have a couple of qualifiers playing each other. The winner of that qualifier battle will play against number 16 seed Lajevic in the second round. And you can see there that Opelka, he might have to take on Medvedev in the third round and that is not an easy match for Daniel Medvedev. Also, don't forget Evans. He's been in some form lately, so keep an eye on him. And TFO, he's been in a little bit of form as well, playing a lot of tournaments over the last couple of weeks. And also, Lajevic, who might be Medvedev's fourth-round opponent, is somebody that he lost to a couple of weeks ago in Rotterdam. So Medvedev, not an easy draw for him. Going to the second part of the draw now, we have number 11 seed, Oja Eliassime, buying the first round. He'll play the winner of Herbert or Souza, who are playing in the first round. Then we have Pospisil versus a qualifier. The winner of that's going to take on number 18 seed, John Is. And don't forget, Isner made the final here back in 2019 and beat Oje Aliasim along the way. So they might have a rematch in the third round. Then we have the 31st seed, Struff, gets a buy in the first round. He'll play the winner of a qualifier or Barenkis in the second round. Then we have Harris versus Murray, the wild card. Andy Murray, he's back and he's up against one of the most informed players at the moment. So watch out for Murray and watch out for Harris because that match, that could be awesome. Winner of that gets a play against number seven seed, RBA, who's also in a great form. So fun couple of matches in that part of the draw. But to be honest, this part of the draw is super wide open. Herbert, got to watch out for him. He's been in some form. And like I said, Harris as well. But RBA's made a final in the last couple of weeks. And then Oji Eliassim, what can he produce at a tournament that he did well a couple of years ago, along with John Isner? Next part of the draw now, we have the number three seed, Alexander Zverev, hot off his Acapulco title last week, by in the first round. He'll play either the wildcard Alcaraz or Rusevary in the second round. And Zverev did play Alcaraz last week in Acapulco, so we might get a rematch in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier versus Yamur. The winner of that's going to play against number 27 seed, Basilashvili. So a very fun matchup potentially in the third round between two players who have won titles this year with Zverev and Basilashvili. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Then we've got the 21st seed, Sinner, by in the first round. He'll play the winner of Gaston, the wild card, or Kopfa in the second round. Then we have Steve Johnson versus Hanfman. Winner of that's going to play number 14 seed, Hashinov in the second round. So a few players in this part of the draw that have played well recently. Kopfa, last week he played well, got to the semifinals of Acapulco. We know Sinner's been doing well this year. Basilashvili and Zverev as well. And don't sleep on Hashinov because he is a dangerous player in a tournament like this where anybody can win it. So watch out for Hashinov as well. And rounding out the top half of the draw, we have the number nine seed, Dimitrov. Buy in the first round. He'll play the winner of Nori or Nishioka in the second round. Then we have Giron versus Paul. Winner of that's going to take on the number 22nd seed, Fritz, in the second round. So no matter what, there's going to be an American in the third round. Then we have the number 32 seed, Bublek, into the second round already. He'll play the winner of Vesely or Jera in that second round matchup. And Bublek's been in some form, so watch out for him. Duckworth, he'll take on a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that's going to play against number 8 seed, Goffan, in the second round. And this is a very interesting part of the draw. The four seeds in this part of the draw, Dimitrov, Fritz, Bublek, and Goffan have all had good portions of the year, but they've also played bad at times this year. So could be anyone's section. Starting off the second half of the draw now, the bottom half of the draw, we've got the number five seed, Schwartzman, he gets a buy in the first round. He'll play the winner of Caruso or Uchiyama, who are playing in the first round. Then we've got Kecmenovic versus a qualifier. Winner of that's going to play against number 25 seed, Manorino, in the second round. Then we've got the number 17 seed, Karatsev. He is the man of the moment. Everyone's talking about Karatsev. Gets a buy in the first round. He'll play the winner of the wildcard, Draper or Kukushkin who are playing in the first round. Then we have Corda versus Albert, playing in the first round. Winner of that's going to play against number 10 seed, Benini, 
in the second round. For all the Carrots of fans, he has a good draw because he has beaten Schwartzman recently. He beat Schwartzman at the Australian Open, in fact, a couple of months ago. So Carrots of, good draw for him. But will the added pressure and the added attention hurt him this week? Because a lot of people are thinking that he might even win the tournament. But don't sleep on Fanini or Schwartzman because they could sneak out of this part of the draw too. Going to the next section of the draw, we have the number 13 seed, Garen. By in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Gillich versus Correa, who are playing in the first round. Then we have the wildcard Mo versus Musetti, and we watched a lot of Musetti last week. Very impressed. You'll have to take on the American wildcard first. Winner of that's going to play against number 23 seed Pear in the second round. Then we've got the number 29 seed Fucevic into the second round. He'll play a qualifier no matter what because there's two qualies going at it in the first round. Then we have Martinez versus Sangren. Winner of that's going to take on number four seed, Andre Rublev. And straight away, you can probably see the memes. Fucevic versus Rublev again in the third round. They could be playing each other again, but maybe he learned something from those two losses. But don't sleep on Musetti. Watch out for him. And also Marin Cilic. He has a good draw as well because there are a lot of clay court players around that top part of the draw for him. Next section of the draw, we have the number six seed, Shapovalov, by in the first round. He'll play the winner of Quan or of Vashka in the second round. Then we have Shardy versus Kudla in the first round. Winner of that's going to play against number 26 seed, Herkatch in the second round. Then we got the number 20 seed, Umber, getting a buy in the first round. He'll play the winner of O'Connell or Souza in that second round. Then we have Thompson versus Delbonis. Winner of that first round will play against number 12 seed, Raonic, in the second round. And for me, this is very wide open. I don't think it's very obvious. Shapovalov, Raonic, Umber, Herkac, all the seeded players here could potentially get out of this part of the draw and make the quarterfinals. But there are some players as well, including Shardy, who has been in some form lately. So watch out. Maybe Shardy can interrupt all the seeds and get through to the quarters. And the last part of the draw here at the bottom of the bottom part of the draw, the number 15 seed, Diminor. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll play the winner of Gallen or a qualifier in his second round match. Then we've got a qualifier versus Vadasco. Fernando Vadasco back for the first time in what seems like forever. The winner of that match will play against number 24 seed, Sonigo, in the second round. Then we've got the number 28 seed, Nishikori, by in the first round. He'll play the winner of Betane or a qualifier in the second round. Then we have a protected ranking with Kevin Anderson. He'll take on Montero in the first round. Winner of that gets a play against number two seed, Cincy Pass. So not an easy first couple of rounds there for Steph. He might have to play Anderson. He might have to play Nishikori. Probably the toughest part of the draw for any of the big seeds. Cincy Pass has got it. Unlucky for him, but he did have a tough draw in Acapulco, and he still managed to make the final. So watch out. Steph, he might like the fact that he has to play hard opponents. And there it is. The first ATP 1000 event of the year and the Miami Open doesn't have the big names. We don't have Federer, Nadal, Djokovic team. We do have Medvedev, Tsitsipas, Rublev, and Zverev. So we do have some big names from the new generation. Let me know down in the comments below. Who's going to win this event? It's the first time in 17 years that we've had an event with the, out of the big three. All right, looking at the draw now, seeing who has the best draw. And this one's very hard to predict, but I think I'm going to go with Alexander Zverev. I was very impressed with his final performance last week in Acapulco, beating Tsitsipas. And it just feels like one of these tournaments where anybody can win it. And I think Zverev has the experience at Masters 1000 level to win an event like like this. So I'm going to back Sasha Zverev, but of course keep an eye on Medvedev, but Zverev, he's my pick. Again, let me know down in the comments below who are you picking for this one. So the Miami Open, we don't have the big names that we're used to seeing at Masters 1000s, but we do have a bunch of big names still.